Hey everybody, uh, uh, w- welcome to Picking Up the Gauntlet, uh, uh, episode four. Uh, sorry, I'm really late this week, meant to get it out, but yeah, uh, so anyway, uh, my cousin had her arraignment, and uh, there was this whole surprise witness, and uh, it, was, it was this whole big thing. So anyway, I'm really sorry I got it out so late. Uh, 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 I gotta talk quick, I got, got a real narrow window before they pick me up again, and uh, uh, so I gotta talk uh, quick about what we got. So, Gauntlet Wrestling, uh, back in Gauntlet City this week. Uh, I, I think the theme is maybe they don't know where they're going. That we don't know where the stories are going. We see lots of lots of stuff this week that uh, stuff where I like where it's going, but stuff where I get a feeling like like there's some confusion. Uh, anyway, we got that promised uh, uh, match. Uh, uh, we got Carnage uh, uh, in there, um, and we got Slapshot. Uh, Borofsky or whatever, he comes in. A um, uh, good, s- hard match. Uh, they they are not pretty wrestlers. Uh, they're 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 pounding on each other. It's a good match. Uh, again, that back and forth, that that ending was was a little hard. I wasn't sure who was was grabbing it. So so weird. Uh, but we'll see where these guys go. We'll see what they do. Um, Sorry, to weird uh, executioner back. He sh- should have been here for the finish of Cyborg Destroyer, but instead we get executioner versus the new lady Cyborg Destroyer, this Terminatrix. And okay, I'm expecting where this is going to go. You know, we're going to get some heat for her. And exterminator puts her under. I mean, hard, hard. Uh, which doesn't seem like a real good way to set up this new Cyborg Destroyer successor. Uh, so I don't know if. If they've got some game plan, maybe they're going to do something else with the Cyborg Destroyer brand, or maybe she's going to come back. Um, and, and particularly weird because we get this heel turn from uh, uh, Executioner. Like, I mean, he's always looked like a bad dude, but he's always been a good guy. But you had the real sense that that, that was a brutal, brutal way. I mean, because you know how – I mean. faces and heels wrestle different, and he certainly pulled out some moves that, that looked more heel. Anyway, all that aside, so the big match here at the end is this Fatal Five-Way, right, uh, for the DM belt, because that got vacated, and then it got vacated again. Um, so it's a Fatal Five-Way. We got, uh, uh, we got Slapshot, and we got Carnage, and we got uh, Candyman, uh, and we got Executioner, and then we've got Padishah's new boy, Skunk Ape. Now, we saw him uh, last week. Uh, uh, you know, uh, with the Hooded Justice. Uh, but it's the first time we get to see him in action. And this match is brutal. I mean, it is brutal back and forth. They are hitting hard. It is it is nasty. They're up against the, the ropes. There's some high high jumps off. Uh, there's that one part where uh, uh, the Skunk Cape uh, swings uh, the Candyman around. Um, and it's, it's something. And I tell you, it looked to me like they were going to have Skunk Ape take this you know, debut match, take the belt, because um, he has some momentum all through this thing. Uh, but then uh, Candyman pulls it out, gets the hit, lands it, gets the pin, and he takes the belt. And that's so cool. You know, I did not see that coming. Um but it's a good, it's a good uh, angle. Uh, I like putting him in. He's got a long storied history there, uh, back behind the scenes. He's a, he's a good wrestler. He's got some cool gimmicks. Uh, we'll, I'll be interested to see some challenge matches for that. So, uh, so it was good, good. I, I like it. It set some storylines up, and uh, so I was pretty happy. Still don't know where they're doing overall. I get the sense that there's some chaos. And because I talked to some people behind the scenes, a little more chaos. But let me come back to that because I got some uh, 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 rumors and final thoughts. So anyway, the big thing I heard was that in the middle of this, because people weren't sticking a script, that Padishah uh, went back and he waged high holy hell. Um, and... The reason that Skunk Ape was hitting so hard and the reason he was even out there was that the Padishah was making a point that he had a serious enforcer to, to keep things right. Um, and certainly the Skunk Ape hit hard and he looked mean. Uh, but I'll tell you what, that crowd popped for him. Uh, you know, people like the Skunk Ape. 
uh, especially at the end when the Paddy Shaw was, uh, was, was given him, you know, it was a neat, a neat angle there. Um, also heard that because they got so many heels right now, uh, they're talking to people and they're looking at maybe some of these guys are gonna gonna make a face turn. Uh, there are a couple couple of good candidates for that. Maybe some ones we wouldn't expect to make a, a face turn, but but we'll see. We'll see. Certainly, it's. Uh, I mean, this is not like a hardcore death match league, so uh, you know we got to get got to get some more faces in there. Uh, I also heard that they're still going to be pushing this Terminatrix, this Cyborg Destroyer replacement uh, chick, a, a woman. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we haven't really seen her do much in the ring, so I don't know why this is going over. And it's kind of at the expense of some of the other solid uh, women wrestlers they got in there, uh, you know, like Serious Business and uh, Rattler Queen um, and Dr. Explosiones. Uh, they got a good stable, but they're not doing much with them. So we'll see about that. Finally, you know, I asked about that weird video that got put up and taken down. Uh, I want to thank uh, the anonymous person who sent me that USB stick uh, with the, the actual video on it. Um, so I watched this thing. I couldn't make heads or tails of it. It's like weird imagery and stuff. Um, but anyway, the one thing, uh, you know, when I was watching it a couple more times is I saw that there were like some numbers and, and codes and things like that. I don't know uh, what they are. Maybe there's like a cipher. Maybe this is like some real world augmented reality game kind of thing, which would be cool because uh, I heard they did that like a while back with uh, uh, what's the game? What's the game with the ring? Uh, oh, Halo. Yeah, they did that with like a birds and bumblebees thing. Anyway, so uh, uh, anyway, uh, I'm figuring that's what it is. So I got a friend who works uh, with SETI, uh, even though they're getting their budget cut and stuff. But uh, he does with all sort of electronic ciphers and uh, stuff like that. Uh, so uh, I'm going to send it to him, and he's going to look and see what he can figure out, you know, uh, kind of do some uh, de de decode encryption uh, thing on it. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, uh, looks like uh, Gauntlet uh, Wrestling this week uh, on the road again, uh, going to be in Atlanta, Atlanta, old, old wrestling town. Uh, so uh, looking forward to seeing uh, what what comes? Uh, maybe we'll see Bleakwood back. That'd be cool. Um, maybe we we'll see development on some of these storylines. I want to see what the Candyman does uh, now with the DM belt in his hands. And, you know, now that he's the DM, what happens? So uh, uh, anyway, uh, so uh, thanks so much. Uh, 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 you know, rate, comment, subscribe, and the, the thing of choice, and and all that. And uh, a good grappling to you. <laughs> <laughs>